What is up you guys, Orlando here with Alicia Records Studio, another video for you guys today. And remember, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, you know the drill, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss any other video from us. Do it! And Cubase just released version 12. And I wanted to go through one of the features that it's absolutely mind blowing and probably the feature that I'm gonna use the most within Cubase. And I'm talking about the new MIDI remote function. This little guy right here. If you recognize that keyboard, that's actually my Arturia keyboard that I have here on my studio. You cannot believe how happy I am. Arturia is one of the companies that actually gave Cubase scripts for a few of their keyboards. So it's already fully mapped. I can finally use the full capabilities of my keyboard because before I couldn't map all of it without my head exploding trying to figure out the mapping and all this stuff within Cubase because I don't have time really to do all that stuff but now it's done for me and it's just amazing. I can literally use my keyboard to control pretty much anything within Cubase, controlling the play, controlling um, if I want to record or not, if I want to stop and go back, if I uh, scroll to a specific portion of the, the beat and start playing from there. The next thing it can do is actually pull up pretty much any instrument or virtual instrument and bring the um, interface up front. If I click here on the piano, for example, I hit that in the same manner. If I click here in the analog lab, I'm going to get uh, the analog lab interface and it's pretty convenient um, and it's right there. It's already mapped. And as you can see it here, it's edit instrument. Quick controls now allows you to do a bunch of cool stuff, starting with instruments you have this new setting right here you can show and hide the quick controls here within um, each virtual instrument or plugin let's say i have a virtual mix rack for example um, open up uh, now i can literally control any knob within that interface um, the peak reduction for example on this plugin so let's take a listen And I can control the gain also, how much I want for that compression here. And I can control the uh, mix um, amount as well. So it's amazing what you can do with the quick controls. I have uh, the first uh, knob here to the output, um, but if I don't want that um, and I don't really need the output, I can map it to another thing. So the only thing I need to do is just uh, click here in learn, click on the actual you know input that I want, that's number one, and I'm just gonna put there uh, the drive. I just need to move this and it's already selected. So F drive, and that's gonna give me the control for that. There you have it. You have now the drive selected there. You can map it to whatever you want in the plugins. Just learn and one click and you have that safe for each individual plugin that you do that. And moving on, um, the other functionality that it has um, that I'm going to be using uh, quite a lot, it's the mixer. So if you uh, change controls here, um, you can get the mixer and the mixer, it's precisely that you can now mix all your tracks. You see that all my tracks are color gray um, and that's for a reason. I want to show you something also cool. Um, if I start coloring those tracks, now you see that I'm going to get, uh, for example, let me put this green. Let me put this, I don't know, maybe uh, pink and the arcade. I'm going to put it, I don't know, maybe cyan and this one i'm gonna color blue for example 
okay so now as you can see here i have all that map already um i didn't have to do anything it automatically recognized the color so now it's a visual representation of what's going on on the mixer side and that's really amazing so i can now uh you know just pretty much go down on all those tracks and start mixing those tracks from the get-go okay so let's uh start playing The knobs on top are gonna switch on the mixing side uh, are gonna switch from you know the quick controls um, mode to actually control the panning on each track so i'm gonna start panning right now And that's super easy. Now mixing became a lot more fun, right? Because it has something to do with just, you know, having the physical contact with um, your instrument, something that it's more hands-on on mixing. It makes mixing, you know, just more fun. Now with this, you can have multiple uh, keyboards and controllers connected at the same time and now you can add a new MIDI controller if you have one and if you have one connector already it's gonna pop up there automatically the only thing that you need to look for under studio MIDI remote manager that's a new one there and you pull it up you're gonna see that um I have already Keylab Essential 49 from Arturia and it's already connected. Um, so the next thing is, you know, you can look for scripts basically. So from Keylabs, uh, you have the 61, the 88, you have Launch Key, you have the Mini Lab, you have the MPK Mini. Also, you have the Nano Controls uh, from Core, and you also have like three different um, setups that they you know uh created for you to modulate your own and to create your own pretty much you can you know zoom in if you need to um on this and um you can um, move it out if you need to as well if you want to have that on the side and instead have the i don't know maybe the core pads or maybe have uh the mix console actually pull up uh you can move that there and have it in a different window as well uh it has so much depth uh to it that you know i need to discover this is pretty new actually so i don't know tell me what you guys think about that this by far is my favorite a feature so far of Cubase 12 and I'll be reviewing other features as well and until next time guys don't stress do your best be blessed forget the rest see you in the next one